Hey everyone, welcome back to the Cakeman Entertainment. Today we are going to be reacting to Star Wars The Acolytes, uh, episode 4. Um, we haven't reacted actually to the first three episodes, but the third episode I think we can all say was um, not very good. Um, yeah, it was a bit embarrassing to say the least to see how far Star Wars has fallen. As a big Star Wars fan myself, like something I grew up with something I cherished and to see it fall to these lows is uh, not good but um, we'll see hopefully it's an improvement this episode I mean we did I had been following the news and I saw that episode 3 is going to be bad like a while ago already and I heard this episode is slightly better so hopefully it is um, yeah let me know in the comments below what you actually thought of the previous episodes and now I'll get into this reaction that fire <laughs> Infamous fire. <laughs> Infamous fire. Oh yeah, my guess is that guy's Lord by the way. Hmm? That guy. That he is the... That black guy. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, he just looks like a sick Oh, he looks like a not good guy. He's <laughs> obviously not part of the Jedi Order anymore by the looks of it. Mm. I don't know, they obviously did something to those witches which made them all go into depression or some crap. But, because mm -hmm. that other one remember he was just sleeping. Mm -hmm. And he took poison. But that doesn't explain why the soul not feel guilty. Or oh, I mean, Nara didn't seem like she felt guilty either. Yeah. Ah, oh, that kind of person. That is kind of somewhat so... Bland, yeah. Cheap. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking that too. It looks like a bit too bland. Like I understand it's not gonna be as developed as it is in the prequels, but it shouldn't be that. It's like everything's just flat and white and like grey or something. It's like looking at a hospital. I'm a bit confused as to how old May is. Yeah. And how old she because she's not like tall, I guess. So. Mm. She's supposed to be a Padawan, right? And she's supposed to be like not a Padawan. Yeah. Is she like 25 or something? <laughs> why, did they, why did they just make it seem like those two had a really good relationship when they never even talked about anything mm. in the last episodes? Like, wow, this guy probably is. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. He even said, um, peace is a lie in the first episode. It was like part of the Sith trope. What the fuck? It's him, Keanu Monday. Is it actually? Yeah, oh, yeah. that's him from Prequels. Yes, someone has tricked. I forget. I hate. I hate him. But mm. <laughs> where is Yoda during all this? By the way, <laughs> this is make this really cool. Come on, Sam. A scandal like this would inspire fear. Oh, here he is. Now they gotta explain that they didn't tell anyone. Her acting is so bad. Yeah, the the Vanette Venus troll or whatever yeah. he is, yeah. She has no emotion. I don't know if that's on purpose or not, but she has no emotion so in her voice. She's like so. the most un-Jedi Jedi I've ever seen. She doesn't know how to present her right properly. Is it just me or is she a different shade of green? <laughs> like a makeup. No, I don't know. She looks like it. Wait, I have a few questions. Kiara Monday is the one that said Jedi I haven't seen Sith for a thousand years. He's the one who said that. And he literally knows about this like a hundred years ago. How long can any species even survive for? Must be a while, right? But but, but that's anyway. not the question. Why but, is the, but like yeah, it does bring about They literally knew of a master and an apprentice. Yeah. And he's the one who's even talking about it. What so he just hid it from the High Council? Even when he joined the High Council later on? Is he retarded? I guess. It's just cat. It's just like hot armor, I guess. Hot armor, okay. I guess you're gonna run with that, I guess. <laughs> Makes no sense. And why would they not tell the High Council of this? Just because of the politics? Yeah. Like the politics isn't as bad of an issue in this period of time as anything it seemed like. Yeah, it's yeah. worse when the Clone Wars happened. He's prepared. You want to kill her. And now you want to. Thank you, 
sponsors just seem so stupid. Yeah, it's a bit weird. Like, I understand Sith can deceive, but, like... I know that, like, last episode they made it seem like she didn't kill the witches, like something else did, but she still tried to kill her sister, mm. and she would have believed... Would she believe that her sister died? Oh, no, no, he did get saved while she was falling, I guess, yeah. But still. Hi, Pai Kun. Pai Kun is the back there, isn't he? Was it? I thought I just saw him like for like one second at the back there. What the hell? He's on the council too, though. He is, yeah. Because he's over like 300 years old in the prequel. Oh, yeah. I didn't know about the other guy, but Pai Kun, I was like, she didn't know that. So he even knew as well of this? What is going on? There he is. Yeah. If it's actually him. Yeah. Maybe it's just another one who looks like him. Mm. They kind of, okay. I'm not showing you. We're just oh, like, there it is. is. If there is him. <laughs> Why does it look so <laughs> weird? <laughs> I'm assuming she's supposed to be a Jedi Knight at this stage. That's, that's yeah. what I need to find out what her age is. Yeah. So she because really she's in a York video. Mm. So she should be a Jedi Knight at that camp. But how does she expect her to be able to, him to be able to stop her? Jedi Masters couldn't. Indara died to her, right? It's very obvious that this guy must be the... I mean, why would he get these hands? <laughs> He's just like a shop owner. Yeah, exactly. I think he just supplied... Didn't he say supplies like mm. drugs or something? Oh, not drugs, poisons or something. Mm. And how does he know this place as well? Yeah, it looks like there's, you know, those things attached into walls just way big. <laughs> okay. I hate it so. Oh, it is! See, I, th I thought it was a thing that just holds up to Fantastic. And they're on every single tree. Yeah. Wait, they fly? <laughs> oh, yeah, they fly. It, yeah, they fly. Same thing. Stab all of them that are on the trees right now. I feel like there could have been a cool scene there where all the insects come out. Maybe it'll happen later. My sit costume, please. Hurry. So intense. I care. Because I am him. <laughs> He's gonna disappear now. Well, I'm I'm <laughs> <not sure. laughs> hey guys. <laughs> Hello. If he shows up 10 minutes later, I'm gonna lose my shit. And literally walks out of the bush. Oh, <laughs> back. You guys are a bunch of Jedi's. <laughs> Can't you, like, find him? Jeez. Why she all of a sudden roll to her sister and try to kill her? And then the Sith Lord did Oh, damn it. Pretty sure Sith Lord can cut himself down. Is he a Yeah, just run around randomly and then come into this <laughs> place in a huge forest. Yeah, is She's been going around in circles, she said, for ages, right? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> That's me looking at these shoes. <laughs> what is oh, out of you. Did the light save the room? Dude, it's that guy. Yeah. She's it's a board. It's fucking that guy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, it's actually that guy. He literally did something. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he literally did. Oh, he's right there. Wait, he's flying? Was he just flying? Yeah. Or was that me? Exactly. It's him, dude. That looks just yeah. like him. Why is she just standing there? Yeah. <laughs> Stop moving! Stand down. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, they just ended there! <laughs> How could this random <laughs> dude just wipe the floor with Sammy Joe? That doesn't make any sense. And well, he's not a Sith, apparently. <laughs> 
I have a lot of questions again. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that mm. was episode four back. I mean, it wasn't as bad as last episode. Yeah, no, there was no R1 or some shit seemed like that, but I don't know. In general, I feel like it's just getting worse. Like, it, the dialogue is sort of like giving up on itself. The CGI, I don't know why it's not looking as good as it was in the first two episodes. Yeah, what are they using the budget on? Yeah, $180 million <laughs> budget. It's like more than 20, in, 20 million an episode. Mm-hmm. It's apparently equal to House of the Dragon season one budget, like each episode. Yeah, that's. <laughs> and these episodes are wow. like 20 minutes. Or like That was like 28 minutes. It was such yeah. a short episode. I don't yeah. know. I didn't like that one either, to be honest. Um, what do you think? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Why is May like randomly changing now and they can try and master? It doesn't make sense, mm. like, what she's actually doing hmm. i don't understand actually she was like she was like she was like all determined to go on this mission or whatever hmm. and now all of a sudden she's switch sides oh may changes everything yeah. why why does it change everything yeah. because there's no explanation behind why that changes hmm. i don't know it just doesn't make sense like yeah they didn't build it up they didn't really so build up any sense. yeah they didn't it's not like oh because she thought she was dead she's going to vengeful thing or or they didn't even have a conversation yeah. she just said unless vengeful. unless unless we miss it that that is why like she's going after the jedi because they think that she killed they killed her or something like that maybe that's why it changes everything i but, don't know but, she's, but soul saved did she not see Soul save her? Or she That's what I mean. Like, didn't she see? Yeah, exactly. Or was so. it like they're gonna make it seem like she fell, and then Soul saved? No, but they fell at the same time, didn't they? Mm. Yeah, so they fell pretty yeah. much at the same time. I don't know. Yeah, that was weird. I'm not sure. <laughs> that guy is definitely a Sith Lord. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. Whatever his name is. Whatever that helper was is definitely. <laughs> It's a thing. He's disappeared and she said he's going to show up 10 minutes. Yeah. He actually did. <laughs> oh my god. And the first show, they try to make it seem like, oh, it's like a big thing. Like, this is like a big murder mystery. Show. <laughs> but the mystery is like, I mean, maybe it's not like, a, I don't know for sure if it's him or not, but like, it's pretty much <laughs> there almost, if not. Seems there. like it's him. I mean, unless yeah. it's like completely random, but uh, I don't know. I would yeah. honestly prefer if it was completely random person. I would know if that better. too, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's, I don't know, a lot of, and why, if, I don't know if that is Plo Koon or not, it could just be another species, but I'm like, who else is it going to be? Like, <laughs> that, that doesn't make um, sense. Now Plo Koon has seen this red lightsaber, he's on the Jedi Council as well. Yeah. A hundred years later. Yeah. She told me he and Kiara Monday both are idiots and didn't tell <laughs> the High Council about anything. Yeah. That's that they should yeah, have seen it. Yeah, exactly. Why did they put him? He didn't say anything. It was just an extra, like in the background. Yeah. They're just like, oh, no, people will know who he is. That's the only reason they did it. Like just because to like bring people to be like, oh, it's Plo Koon, it's Plo Koon. But it's literally just a way. But why? Yeah, it why does it make sense? Koon. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. And whatever <laughs> I know, they're, they're trying to make it say, oh, let's not tell the High Council, blah blah blah. But those guys are on, on the, the High Council, Council later. Later, later, yeah, yeah. Like, whatever they're not right now, but yeah. they are later on. So would have, they would have documented, like, oh, you they would have encountered yeah. this. Even if it wasn't a Sith user, like a Dark Force yeah. user or whatever, like, yeah. It's, it would be, and even if, okay, let's give them the biggest benefit of the doubt that Pokemon and Kiare Monday did want to hide this so that they wouldn't lose, like, I don't know, political, some mumbo-jumbo. When Darth Maul does arrive... Why do they still, why are they still like shocked? Like he's like, Sith haven't been seen in a thousand, but yeah, then, yeah. then you wouldn't let it out, right? You'd be like, yeah. oh no, okay, we hid this from you, sorry, you know, that like, <laughs> there was something a hundred years ago. Yeah. And like, I understand political, but the political goes when there actually is a Sith. Like, yeah, exactly. It's actually real now. Yeah. yeah. So why are they still hiding? It doesn't make, they made it make like, any way they did it would have been bad, but I feel like the way they did it is like, Really bad. Like, yeah. why are they using members of the High Council in there? It shouldn't they be should there. They right. should be just there as, like, cameos. Yeah, like, they yeah. bump into them while they're walking or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's Master Yoda. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
Yani bir Aygen ile bir mission asam ya. He's literally like on the mission. Yeah, I bet they're gonna say that's not Plague Queen. That's what they're gonna do. They're gonna be like, oh, you thought it was him. It's not him. But that's yeah. fucking bullshit. They're trying to bait it as him, and then they're just yeah. gonna change it at the last second or some shit. But even that's where the other dickhead guy was the yeah, guy he was had a the <laughs> dickhead. That guy is <laughs> the best. <laughs> He's also on the high council later. Yeah, anyway. You set up the mission. Yeah. Like him and that other emotionalist green idiot. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Vernus. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> you must complete the mission, you must come in later. No, oh, why did you tell me this? <laughs> yeah, why did you tell me this? I am not a a shade of green this episode. <laughs> she said she was. I'm telling you, I'm going to compare. I swear she was like, she was like olive in the last episode. This episode she's like, she's like Hulk green now. I don't know. There was not many redeeming aspects about that episode. Uh, and yeah, they're trying to forge some sort of fake relationship between May and uh, not May, who's a good one? Osho. Osho. Yeah, Osho. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> they didn't even talk in the. I mean, I might be forgetting because I forgot most of it already, but I swear they didn't even talk or like very yeah, briefly yeah. talk in the Maybe second no episode. Yeah. So, but they actually like they're like long, they're like. Rex in the circle or some shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like their best friends. Like, what is going on? Yeah, I don't even know if there was any redeeming aspects of that whole episode. I don't remember a good thing. <laughs> yeah, like even first two episodes, I didn't actually mind. I thought the costume designs and stuff were cool, but mm-hmm. it seems like they've fallen off the radar. Like, Plokin looked really off there. I don't know what it was, but it's you got looked... Plokin. That's why. Yeah, that's probably <laughs> the reason. But. He looked better in the prequels, which is funny because that's like twenty years ago than yeah. he did here. Isn't he, he just like makeup and like a like a mole or something that he's wearing? Probably? To me, it looked like he's just being like a poke. <laughs> <laughs> something you just get out of a merchandise store. <laughs> it's like even has human hands. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what was good. I, I can't actually remember anything good about that episode. Like maybe, uh, I mean, I guess Soul was alright. Soul was Soul's always alright, I yeah. feel, but yeah. I don't know. And then, yeah, as you were saying, even this last scene, what the hell, you can just like, just do this and force push like, what is it, 10 of them there? And, oh, at least two, six, three, six of them, four, I five, think. Six, seven, seven. The seven lights, as you can see there. Yeah. yeah. You can't just, like, I don't know if they understand, but you can't simply force push, especially these guys are prepared, they're ready mm-hmm. for battle. Like, there's that thing like you have like your force shield effectively they call it like mm-hmm. you and that doesn't break if you're in attack mode and ready for it mm-hmm. like that means you're ready to like like force block it i mean it's sort of hard to explain but like for example yoda against palpatine he got hit far because he wasn't like ready for how powerful Sidious might be yeah but if he was already like in battle stance he wouldn't have flown away like when getting force pushed, he might have he might have got pushed like a bit back. Yeah, a bit back, which they did later. Yeah. Remember when they were like going at each other? Like yeah, they yeah. got pushed a little bit at each other, but yeah. we weren't go flying. Yeah, unless you break their shield, yeah, with lights of a battle or something, it doesn't make sense. You can't just be like, oh, exactly. Like if they're not looking or something, it doesn't <laughs> make sense. But you should have. It would have been different if they if they did a full, if they did that and then they all like shifted back like a bit. Yeah, to yeah. show that he's still quite powerful, but they're still like on guard. They all like, like yeah. they should have done maybe as if like he they were like the other way they didn't realize he was behind them yeah. and then he like pushes them or something but they're all ready and they're all like running at him and they're not all like idiots like some of them are, um I think most of them are knights and obviously Souls a master yeah. and I think that other guy who's making the orders is also a master so yeah. they got like two or three masters and then this guy just does this and just push <laughs> it doesn't matter how strong he is like. Well, he's obviously, he's definitely not stronger than Palpatine. He's not going to be. Yeah. <laughs> if he is, that's bullshit. But he's not. Mm-hmm. So he can't, like, simply just do this and they all just go down. Like, okay, if they do, like, he beat them in a combat battle, that's mm-hmm. different. He yeah. can't do that. But force pushing them away like that, that's bullshit. That yeah. makes no sense. Yeah, and he... Again, if they make it seem like he's trying to kill Osha... Well, he literally had a golden chance right there to kill her, and he just fucking did this. So yeah, I don't know what his no, goal no, is because <laughs> if he's truly a Sith or a bad guy, he would have just killed her right mm-hmm. then and there. Especially if the only other thing that I can think yeah. of is that, say for example, he, that person 
Mm -hmm. Like maybe it isn't that guy, mm -hmm. and maybe it's like a weird. It's a, yeah, that, I hate that too. Yeah. I don't want it to be one. And then that sort yeah, of justifies you, why they're trying to like kill these Jedi's or whatever because the witch that survived and they blame them. For and that's why she didn't show her show as well. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that makes. That's the only thing I can think of. Yeah, uh, it doesn't look like a woman though, but um, it looks like that guy, like a skinny dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, it could be I mean, it could be it could be a woman, but yeah. It looks like a not too tall person too, because their mother was sort of tallish. Like exactly. Yeah. So it's probably not their mom. Oh my god, if it's like the okay, the worst possible thing it could be is if it was that dark mom woman. Like if it's her, I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm, I'm done. Actually done. I can't take that woman. Um Yeah. Not too, not too many redeeming aspects about that episode. Lightsabers, yeah, sure they look cool, but yeah. Yeah, I feel like that last scene was literally just there to say, Whoa, like seven lightsabers in one, and this guy can push it. That's how strong he is. Yeah, it's like a fan fiction thing with people who don't know about Star Wars, yes. <laughs> yeah. but they're just like put lightsabers in it and like a red lightsaber in it. Yeah, even his mask like doesn't look that like. Kylo Ren, Darth looks, Vader, yeah, they yeah. all have like really like distinct, cool looking. Like, mm -hmm. I didn't like the sequels, but I liked Kylo Ren's like whole outfit. Mm -hmm. You can see it had that semblance of Vader, but it was different too. Mm -hmm. Like, it had its own mm -hmm. sort of thing about it. Um, but that last, I don't know, just looks like something you just work on a hardware yeah. shop and just put it on your face. It looks like one of those black stormtroopers. <laughs> yeah, like, actually, yeah, yeah. yeah. chin that, punched that, in or something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what is this going on here? What is this, yeah. like, smile going on? Are you trying to be, like, the Joker or something? It's like a stormtrooper mask with, like, a Joker. <laughs> smile or something or i don't know and i have to have another good look at that mask but mm. uh, yeah and and i don't really like again how they're ending episodes like <clears throat> in that first episode it was super super like fan fiction and when that he's like oh acolyte does not do this acolyte does it just mm. was like so out of place and it's just like and he just pulls out his red lightsaber for no reason yeah, yeah. there's no combat there's nothing going on there yeah he just pulled it out to show Oh, there's a guy with a red light so like, be surprised, be shocked. This end scene is the exact same thing. It's just seven people pulling out a lightsaber and then he's just like and then end the episode. <laughs> it's just like lightsabers like they're cling on, like they think people will come back for more um following like that. Yeah. But if yeah. I wasn't like actually reacting or like making content on this, I probably wouldn't even watch it to be honest. Yeah. It's same. pretty bad. Like it's genuinely bad quality. Even if you're not a Star Wars fan, say you're like a person who doesn't watch Star Wars. The story doesn't make sense. Yeah. <laughs> like, just by itself. Like, yeah, yeah, take yeah. away if you're a Star Wars fan, like, you want to follow canon. Even if it's not following canon or anything, the dialogue and stuff is, like, not making sense. Yeah. And even that line that that stupid... Uh, not, she's, like, okay, she's not stupid or anything, but um, Jackie, where she's, like, uh, you, what did she say? Something about, like, survive. You survive. Only your s surviving defines you or something like that. It, yeah, yeah and, but it just felt wrong the way she said it. She's, like... Yeah. Like, it's like the line was like incomplete or yeah. something. Yeah, it's like you're not defined by your death; you're defined by your surviving or something. And yeah. I was just like, it's like it's a cool concept what they're trying to say, but the mm. way she said it was not, like the line was just like yeah. not really written well. Yeah. yeah. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of this episode. If you liked it, I don't know what you're doing, but um, <laughs> yeah, let me. You're free to have your opinion. If you didn't like it, let me know what you didn't like about it. And until next time, we'll see you guys later.